Hey guys, I want to show you an AI tool that removes watermark on stock images, just like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, and other stock images. Just like this one, I'm going to show you. Usually Shutterstock has uh, this image uh, where it's watermarked everywhere. And this AI tool uh, is able to remove this automatically. So this is kind of cool. This is the before and after. How cool is that? This is from Shutterstock, and that's the article from The Verge. Uh, and like just like this one, usually you have a Shutterstock watermarks in the middle like this. And this AI tool, you upload it, the picture, and it's going to be able to remove this, you know. It looks like this. So um, it's, uh, you know, like pretty cool. But on Getty Image, it's having a hard time with block images, uh, block copyrights like this. As you can see on her uh, dress, if I zoom in, uh, you can see here is, I mean, the dot is circled. And here, after it removes, uh, the AI failed to remove this because it has a lot of uh, blemishes on the coat that she's wearing on the shirt, on the dress. And then so even here on the Getty image like this, it's uh, having a hard time. So... Uh, you know, AI is improving, it's gonna progress, I'm pretty sure it's ca it can remove later on this. Uh, but this is fascinating on um, Shutterstock, and you can also try on Adobe Stock. So I don't suggest you do this, you um, usually have to pay uh, this, but I'm just showing you a tool that uh, removes watermarks. Um, so uh, it's up to you to, to how you use it. Uh, I'm not responsible for this. And I'm just showing you AI, uh, what it can be used for. So like this right here, you can see it's not removing uh, as good. Uh, like here, Adobe Stock on the left side. Uh, but Adobe Stock on the background, as you can see, there's Adobe Stock and uh, small uh, everywhere on the background right here uh, in light uh, opacity. So even on her hair, it's able to remove perfectly. And they use this kind of tool to remove like the backgrounds or like remove people just like on the Google Pixel, they remove people from a photo uh, by just drawing on the uh, on the subject and it's able to remove uh, because of, you know, AI. It understands uh, what picture uh, and the composition around it. And so this is kind of cool, as you can see. This would take a long time for you to remove on Photoshop or uh, it's going to have a hard time to remove it. Uh, just this, like this, uh, you can remove with Photoshop or another tool, pretty easy, but the back one on the on the hair and so on, on the face, it's pretty hard uh, if you don't use AI. And it's going to take a long time. Just like this one, uh, this illustration right here, as you can see, I don't know if you see it on your screen, it's Adobe Stock on the background right here. There's a lot of them and with AI tool just do it in like you know minutes uh, sec seconds but it's having a hard time taking off this text right here so you probably have to manually do it I'm pretty sure it's gonna um, improve later on but uh, this is oh I can see Adobe stock here too right here it's failed to remove on the cactus right here uh, you can see a little bit so it's not perfect but uh, yeah, so it's it's not uh, noticeable uh, very much. I suggest you to buy a plan uh, to download from the stock uh, image site. Uh, but this is just a tool that I'm showing you. Oh, on her face, it's still stock on here, as you can see, before and after. Yeah, it's not doing like a perfect job, but uh, it removes most of it. Like even on the hair right here, you can see a little bit. So this is the AI website that removes the watermark on uh, pictures and images uh, from you know anywhere that you have watermarks. Uh, it was featured on Product Hunt, uh, Product of the Day, so it shows uh, it's uh, pretty popular. And you can uh, have a free plan right here. I'm going to show you a plan. You can upload image in uh, PNG, JPEG, WebP, so uh, up to resolution of uh, 2400 times 2400 pixels. Uh, this is only available on the Play Store right now. Uh, so you can download it on your phone and remove it without using a desktop PC. 
uh, I'm going to show you an example uh, of an image. For example, if you go to shutterstock.com, and this is just for demonstration purpose, uh, I don't recommend you do this. Uh, if you go to images right here, image home, and then you go down, and that was one of the image example that I show you. Uh, for example, like this one or this one, uh, if you go, and then there's a shutter stock right here in the middle. Uh, you can download this by uh, hitting try, clicking on try right here. It's going to download that image to your computer. So uh, I already downloaded that image from Shutterstock. I'm going to open it up, uh, show you guys. Uh, so that's how it looks like after you download. There's a bunch of watermark right here. And this is for testing only. And I'm going to go to watermark uh, remover.io. And then uh, I have that picture right here that I downloaded. I'm going to drag this. To here so so you guys can uh, see so it's processing right now as you can see it's uploading the image uh, you can also paste the image URL here so if you don't want to download uh, you don't want to download to computer and uh, upload it so it says right here you can see you can uh, compare the before and after I'm going to show you a little bit bigger right here so as you can see, it does a pretty good job at removing the watermark on the Shutterstock right here. It removes everything. So as you can see, there's uh, there's one near the uh, the child right here, and it's wow, it's like not there anymore. This is uh, magical, right? It would take so it took only like a couple seconds maybe 10 seconds for you to upload. I think the longest is to upload the image. You can also paste the URL, which is uh, faster. So for example, this image, I'm going to do uh, download. So this is the image I downloaded. It's going to look like this. It has a bunch of uh, watermarks on it. And I'm going to drag it to uh, right here. I'm gonna drag it again so it takes some time to upload and it's processing one two three four five six wow just six seconds and it's able to remove everything as you can see it's like uh so let me point like right here there's no more as you can see there's no more shutter stop right here does a pretty good job right here and right here as you can see, so it's comparing the left and the right before and after. And there's a shutter stock here and it removes everything like amazingly. Uh, look at that. So just like that, this is, uh, this is powerful. Like in six seconds, it's able to remove everything. Like less than six seconds, I would say, because you know, they, it takes some time to upload back the image on the server. And yeah, just like that. So very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to test another one on uh, Adobe Stock. I'm going to go to here. So let's see something like this. A lot of people. So let's say we pick uh, this one. Uh, for example, so it has Adobe Stock on the back, as you can see. And uh, we're going to copy the image address like this. And then we're going to go back so we don't have to download like the and paste URL like the shutter stock. So we'll paste it and then you click submit. And within a few seconds, it's able to remove this. So, wow, look at that. As you, can, you guys can see on the left right here, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, um, watermarks right here. But right here, it removed. And then uh, on the back here, uh, the bokeh, it removed uh, on the face right here. Uh, people's head, it removed pretty good, as you can see. The shutter stock a little bit. No. So I don't see any uh, right here on the shirt. There's no more right here. Uh, I don't know if you see it. Yeah, on the shirt, there's Adobe stock right here. Uh, on the head. Uh, on another shirt right here usually it has a hard time when there's a lot of uh, texture around 
it's like this is even texture so it's uh, easier to remove uh, but it does a pretty good job earlier with the kitchen and uh, everything uh, so this is uh, cool and then I'm gonna go try another one I stock So if you go to iStock, if you try something, just say like this on a computer, and then this iStock right here. So let's right click and save. So I already saved that image on the desktop. Uh, so we're gonna go back here and I re-upload because it didn't allow me to uh, link the image URL. And so like that, just like that. See, this is on iStock. Uh, it's pretty clean right here as you can see uh, They remove on the on the jacket right here as you can see there's jackets uh, on the screen as well Screen is white, so it's not that hard to remove. This is a blend background, but the back right here Look at that It has a lot of stuff going on here, but it removed like successfully all this and this didn't remove so uh, that's the only thing and on the head right here doing a good job like this right so guys uh, that's it for the review and uh, if you find this video helpful please give a like and subscribe to my channel uh, I'm gonna link the the link in description below to the watermark remover.io and this is an AI tool uh, and they also offer like you know erase the background uh, and then shrink media and you can upscale so upscale is pretty cool because you know if you use a uh, stable diffusion or AI generated images uh, you can actually enlarge any photo pixelized photo to a larger size to print for a poster for uh, you know bigger size so this is nice as you can see I'm gonna cover this in the next video so please give a like and subscribe and so when it's pixelized it can use AI to uh, make it very high quality sharp uh, and then not pixelized so this is really great if you wanna you know sell your images on Etsy or like uh, any stock images uh, yeah so this also uh, company do the remove background. You can download it on uh, Google Play uh, and also the App Store. So it's gonna be able to remove uh, backgrounds uh, pretty easily. So you can use on any way you want for uh, your social media or uh, your websites, uh, any kind of uh, thing that you wanna use for e-commerce as well. So please give a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys for watching, bye.